Hi there, Darren Bain here. This video is courtesy of the London Hairdressing Apprenticeship Academy. Um, today I'm going to be uh, demonstrating a layered bob. Um, the last video that I did was a bob. And what I'd like to do is just expand on that a little bit and show you how to, to sort of work with bobs a little bit more internally. Because um, a bob, you know, as I'm sure you're all aware, is, is an external shape, it's, it's, a, it's a line. Um, generally bobs tend to be one length. Um, we do talk a lot about graduated bobs. Um, very common with, with bobs again is the graduation. Because there's been a lot on that, um, what I'd like to do is actually share with you a bit more about layering bobs because I do think there's a slight um, misconception about layering on bobs. Okay, and I want to show you that you know by doing a layer, uh, you can really make a bob much more dynamic, much more modern as well. Uh, graduated bobs, as, as much as they're beautiful and classic, um, they can be quite generic um, towards a certain market. So what I'd like to do is go through um, a little bit of a breakdown of a layered bob, and um, hopefully it might just give you a few ideas yourselves just how to maybe incorporate that into your your own work. Okay, so as, as always, um, I'm going to go straight into the internal shape. So as I said last time, I did cut a graduate bob, um, and I've also done the, the, the line of the, of the one length. So what I'm going to do now is, is go through the sections with you. So we're going to start off, um, what you'll find a lot of the time is when you see the, the haircuts and the techniques, they start quite similar, um, and normally they start with a radial section, which basically parts the front and the back, and then generally you'll see uh, some kind of centre parting, uh, like on this, or you might see a side parting. So they're generally how you'd start most layering haircuts, so either on the side or in the centre. Um, and more often than not, you'll find that there'll be a radial running right away through the middle, just to separate front and back. That's it. So we're going to start through the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to just tilt the model forward slightly. Um, the back area is quite a large area, so it's the most volumised area of hair density around the head. You've basically got twice as much hair in the back as what you have in the side. So in the side, you like 50%. And then you double that down and then you've got hundred percent so this whole area here in the side obviously doesn't have any hair there so the back area is where you've got to deal with most of the work generally on layering so we're going to start here as i said so what we're going to do we're going to start the profile line um, again a lot of guys that have been working within the academy we generally work with this sort of comb width to determine our profile line okay so we're going to pop that in running from the crown down to the nape and this is a vertical section as well, okay? So just keeping, keeping on top of your terminology guys all the time, so working vertical profile lines, anything that's gonna help you to, just to really understand what, what it is that you're doing. I'm just gonna drop it down, just ever so slightly there, get a little bit closer. So there's the profile line. And then what I'm actually gonna be doing, I'm actually gonna cut the back square, all right? So if I just pop it on a, more on a profile actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the hair square to the head so if you imagine the comb it's going to be literally square like that so the whole back is going to be quite like a flat layer um, and I'm, I'm also going to over direct it slightly as well in the back to create a square plane so it's going to be square on a vertical but it's also going to be square on a horizontal as well and I will touch on that and go into that a little bit more in detail as I'm going along okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the first section out Okay, it's a large section, so don't forget to subsection the hair, as we've been doing. Now, because we have cut the length first with the bob, we're going to use the, the length of the bob as a guide, okay? So we bring the hair out. Can you see? You can see the guide at the bottom, okay? That's where we're going to start, all right? Okay. So what I've done, that was quite a large section, I wasn't very happy with that. So I'm going to do section the back into two sections, okay? <clears throat> I just need to manage the hair a little bit better, okay? So also, just, just make sure that if you're in this situation, if it doesn't feel comfortable, yeah, don't, don't just go ahead with it, okay? I was, just, I was going to start and do a long section there. And you know what, I just felt uncomfortable with that. I didn't feel that I was going to be able to give it um, my best effort. So, you know, I'm quite conscious of when I'm cutting. I've touched on this before. So for me, if it doesn't feel right for me, I'm not going to carry on. I'm not going to start something. So now this section here, I do feel much more confident that I can cut the desired length and look that I want. So what I'm going to do now is take the profile line again. Let's come around this way. I'm trying to get the best angle for you as well. There we go, so let's pop the head slightly forward. So at the moment, 
it's quite similar as if you're going to do a graduated bob. Yeah, you're kind of taking similar section. So what I'm going to do, the only difference between a layer bob and a graduated bob is when you do graduation, you're working on a 45 angle, okay, and you're building up weight. When you do layering, you're actually working more above 90, and you're actually taking weight out, okay? So you're removing weight rather than building weight up. So that's the difference. So if you put the comb on the head, the comb will come out from the occipital perpendicular. Anything below 90, which is here, is graduation. Anything above 90 here is classed as layering. Okay, it's a really good tool. If you're not sure what, what it is you want or what you actually are doing, is just using that, that as a tool. So comb on, perpendicular, graduation, layering, okay? So that is quite useful for some of you if you're not too sure, okay? So let's just get cracking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the, the, the line from the, the actual outline, bring it out, and I'm gonna cut this first section square, okay? So my fingers need to be square. So not, they're not graduating, they're not building, they're taking weight out. So you're creating this kind of flatter shape, okay? So it's actually quite, quite a bit different to graduation you're making the hair much flatter. And then what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to just keep working with these small little vertical sections like so. But what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to elevate this section to the first section. Okay? Now, I don't know if you remember a moment before I talked about cutting the hair square on both a vertical and a horizontal. By, cut, by directing each section to the previous, I'm actually going to create a square shape on a horizontal as well. Okay? If you're not sure about that, it sounds a bit confusing. Just, just bear with the haircut. And, um, you know, hopefully, as I go through, I should be able to make it a little bit clearer for you. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking each section slightly to the previous section, okay? And in order to know that you're doing that, you need to know where perpendicular is. Perpendicular is straight out from each section, and I'm bringing it back slightly from each section. So basically working what we call off base. So you have on base, off base, okay? So I'm working off base. As I'm coming round, I'm moving slightly around with, with it, but you can see the over direction, okay? And then the last section, bringing it back off base and connecting it in. So what I'm doing, guys, I'm, I'm still protecting my, my perimeter line, okay? But then when I cross-check it, I should have quite a square shape. There you go. So you've got a nice square shape to it, and that's because I'm over-directing it slightly to my previous section. Okay, so that's basically a cross check as well. So it's square on a vertical and it's also square on a horizontal. If I was to cut on base, it would be square on a vertical and it would be round on a horizontal. Okay, we're gonna go to the other side now. <clears throat> we're gonna continue cutting vertically. On this side, my fingers are gonna be pointing down now and I'm gonna be cutting up the hair as opposed to on the other side, things were up and I was cutting down. So look, flipping it over, but I'm still creating the same shape, but I'm just using my hands in a different way. And there's still a slight over direction as well. Okay, the reason why I'm doing this is because I like to comb onto my guide, okay? So I'm combing the hair back onto my guide. And the same on the other side, when my fingers are this way, I'm combing the hair onto my guide. And this way, I'm coming onto my guide. If you do it the same way all the way across, which some people do, one side you're coming onto your guide, and on the other side you're coming away from your guide. Okay? So it's just about being a bit dynamic, being a bit um, versatile with your, your hairdressing, and your dexterity, and your understanding of, of what it is you're doing. Okay, so basically, just this the first underneath section, you're not cutting loads of hair off. Okay, cross check again. Nice way to cross check, just get your comb either side, just rake it in. Rake, bring it out, I'm just visually looking at the hair and checking that you're okay. Okay, every now and then if there's a few little bits, as long as it's not too much hair, you can cut on a cross check, okay? It's a slightly controversial um, statement. Okay, some people are like, no, you never, never cut on a cross check. Okay, go back and find the mistake or find the little bit that's longer. For me, if it's just a tiny bit of hair, um, as long as it's not going to impact the overall haircut too much, then you know, please just take it away so you can continue with the process of the haircut. If it's a large amount and you're off track, absolutely go back through, find where it is, and, uh, and rectify it. Generally, 
what it might be is just a little bit more over direction on one side than the other, you know, something quite similar uh, to that. <clears throat> okay, first section is done, I've cross checked it, happy with the shape, and then what I'm going to do now is drop the next section down, and I'm going to repeat the same process as what I've just done on the underneath. So we take the first section, so our profile line, okay, and then we're going to bring the hair out, and as you can see, there's a lot more hair coming off the second section, okay? And that's because it's a one-length bob, and there's been no internal shape before. Now, if you want, you can cut on the outside of your fingers now, to bring the hair out, okay? Try and get the square line. I like to have the head up a bit more, actually, than that. Okay, head's more upright. So what I'm trying to create here is a really square shape through here, okay? So like that. And in the back, we get another comb. So here, square, and then this, like that. Okay, so it's really square. <coughs> right. Now I'm going to continue cutting it this way because I just feel more comfortable. So nice and square, working up to the top. Okay. Okay, next section. A okay, small little vertical section. And then we're going to over direct it, remember? To over direct to the previous section. There's your guide from the underneath. And then we continue with the square shape. Okay? Now, if you're doing this in the salon, you can use your mirror. Okay, so just before you cut the hair, look in the mirror. Make sure your body position is okay, make sure your fingers are nice and square before you actually cut the section. So use the mirror to help you. The mirror is a fantastic tool to use. Okay, something that's maybe not thought of as a tool, but it is absolutely a tool. So use the mirror to help you with your hair cutting, especially with the angles. Okay, so all the way through to the top, like so. That's really important, as the head starts to round a lot more in here, you could potentially just over direct the hair just a tad more if you need to, okay? Be very aware of what the hair's doing and be, you know, again, as I've said, be quite conscious of what's actually happening, like keep an eye out and see how the hair's actually reacting as well. Okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna, just to be careful, I just wanna over direct the hair a little bit more here. Okay, I'm quite conscious of the fact that the hairline is starting to round and you know, I don't want to get any holes in the in the line, okay? Which can happen. So I've got to be really super careful. So last section here. I'm just going to bring it back. A little bit more over direction here, okay? It's always best to be safe. If it's too much over direction, you know you can go back through and always take a little bit more out. But if you get a hole or you cut your section too short, unfortunately, you can't put the hair back on, you can't rectify it after. Okay, so there's that last section. So I've managed to retain the length. Probably a little bit too much over direction in that last section here. So I'm just going to come back through. There it is. That's better. So that's one side. So you can see, you're going to get quite a flat shape in here. So it's going to sit quite flat, but it's a really beautiful shape. It's a beautiful haircut. It's one of my favorite. And that's why I wanted to share it with you. Um, I actually prefer it to graduated bob. Um, and I love graduated bob, you know. I just find that the, the square layer um, is just a little bit more modern, it's a little bit more cooler, and it looks really, really complementary on the head shape. Okay, so moving to the other side, I'm going to again work in with the, the vertical section. Okay, bring the first section out. There's our underneath section. Okay, and then we're going to continue working up on this side, but working with a little bit more, a um, little bit more tension just at the moment. Just because we're not at the round part of the head yet, it's still quite square. And also now I'm cutting my fingers up, whereas I've just cut my fingers down. So I've just, what I call flipped, flipped my section over. And then I'm going to keep working these vertical sections. You get a nice clear guide and see exactly what hair needs to come off. Okay, this area here is nice and square. I'm just connecting it in.
So a little bit more over direction as I'm coming through. Okay. So as we come through to the last few sections, as I said, just bring the hair back ever so slightly more, just protecting your your shape. Okay, last section here. Okay, so that's the last section on this side. Again, just protecting the line. And um, we're going to cross check the hair now. Because at this moment, obviously, we need to check that both sides have got this even balance running through. So again, working with the cross check. And you can quite clearly see when you do this if it's both even on both sides. Okay, so just pulling the hair up. And a few little pieces here, I'm quite happy to work on this horizontal plane because they're only tiny little pieces, they're not much. Okay, I wouldn't expect to see big bits of hair, you know, because obviously that would mean I went, you know, out of sectioning completely, which I wouldn't expect that to happen, you know, because I take nice small sections. I make sure that I'm aware of what, what I'm doing all the time. So the, 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 the error margins are quite small, really, um, when you do that. Okay, so it's always good to bear that in mind. Okay, so I've just cut both sides and you can start to see the flatness of this, this shape in the back. It's really, really complementary for the, for the head shape. So you kind of get this like, nice tucking effect here, but it's not too heavy. It's not like that sort of generic kind of um, heavy kind of graduated feel. So now what I'm gonna do is go to the top area. I'm actually gonna cut like, um, like what we call box section. So if I pop the hair in the middle here, what we're going to do is we're going to work with profile lines, okay? Because that's how we, we always approach a lot of our layers. So we're working the profile through the centre of the head. Again, like we would do with lots of different layering techniques. So there's your profile line. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to bring all the hair up. I'm actually going to cut the top square, okay? So if I pop the hair on the side again, I'm going to cut the top here square like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the back as a guide for the top, okay? So as you can see, there's been a lot of hair coming off the top, all right? So what we do, we take a little slice from the, the back, and we, so we go from here, we transport that up to the top, like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut this shorter to longer towards the front. Okay, so the hair is getting longer towards the front because the angle that we're cutting it is shorter in the back and longer towards the front, like so. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work horizontal sections and I'm going to bring every section to the first section. So the whole thing in the front is going to be able to direct it to the very first section, okay? <clears throat> now, there's a good reason why I'm doing this, okay? And it's obviously to maintain length through the sides. So take the second section, we're gonna over direct it. So what you wanna be doing, guys, is standing on the opposite side and putting the hair towards you, okay? So bring it over into the middle, like so, and then you cut it shorter to longer. Okay, so I just want to show you the over direction. Look, there's the over direction. Okay, so by combing all this hair here over, it's going to retain the length inside. 
So take the next section, horizontal, and then again come around to the other side, comb it over towards you, like so. And what you'll find is each section that you cut will be cutting less hair off. So as you're coming down, you bring it over, you're cutting lesser hair off because essentially what's happening is the hair has got further to travel and therefore it's getting longer each section. So bring this section up into the middle. And I might even run out of hair now, okay? There's hardly any hair on this section. So that means I've run out of hair, okay? I always bring all of the hair up just in case. I'll show you on this way as well. So bring the hair up, okay? Into the middle, with just a few little pieces there. So up, into the middle, there's just a few little pieces. Okay, bring the hair back down. So as you can see, we've still protected our perimeter. Okay, but what we have got now is more layers internally that runs from the back into the front. You can see that? Okay, really nice shape. Okay, and then you go to the other side. And we're going to repeat the same process. So we're going to come off the profile line, first horizontal section. Okay, and then we come over to the other side again. We're going to comb the hair up. Okay, and because we're cutting short to long, I like to stand on this side and comb the hair away from me. Because what I like to do is I always like to cut from shorter to longer. Like so. Okay. All those little things, little tips really, tricks of the trade if you want, um, they're all basically things that I've learned over the years, uh, things that I've learned certainly off other people, everything I've learned is off other people essentially. Um, you know, you do sort of discover a few things on your own just by making mistakes or something happens that you didn't expect to happen, uh, which is nice sometimes, but essentially we're all growing um, together and we can all learn off each other. So everything I've learned, I've seen someone else do. Yes, occasionally I've um, more than not adapted it, um, tried to progress something, make it my own. I think that's really important. But essentially, the reason my education is so important is because we really grow and learn um, off each other, you know? And um, that's really the most important thing about education, is seeing what other people do Sometimes to get reconfirmation yourself, so you go, oh, okay, I do it like that, um, and that can make you feel good. Or you might get completely um, surprised by something completely different you've never seen before, which you know is, is really nice um, when that happens as well. So both sides are done. What you're going to then find is you're going to get this kind of like longer shape on a cross check. So when I'm cross checking it this way, I'm expecting the hair to be longer, so it comes longer through here, and on this side. As you can see, it's longer. So you're almost creating this kind of what I'd call concave effect. So again, if I use my comb, concave is like this. Yeah, convex is round, okay? And then concave is the other way. Okay, I don't want to break my comb, actually, because these wires part combs notoriously break when you bend them too much. Let's try the sessi bond. This is a sessi bond. Uh, a little bit more elasticity. So as you should know, this is a convex, which we use in, uh, in layering um, as a round shape. So we generally call it a round layer, but it's actually a convex. The opposite to convex is concave, so I'll just get my comb, bend it the other way. That is concave, okay? Now concave, as you can see, you're getting a shorter area in the middle, and then it's coming longer towards the outer perimeter. So that's what I've created on this side, and then on that side, okay? But it's still, front and back still connected through the center pillar, okay? So the crown area, it's got this balance of connection, okay? That is really all you need to worry about, okay? So this is my, my technique. It's a, an advanced take on a, on a layer, okay? It's a, um, it's a square layer with over direction. That's the best way to describe it. I don't want to go make it too complicated by saying it's a square, concave, over directed, short to long layer, okay? Um, but it is kind of all of those things as well. But let's just keep it simple. A square layer on a bob and it's got over direction in certain areas just to protect key parts, okay? One of them being this area here, okay? You don't wanna be getting any holes in your bobs. So what I'm gonna do, as always, I'm gonna uh, wrap dry the hair with a denman. Um, I might even start with a, with a vent. So wrap dry the hair first, and then when it's dry, I'm gonna work on the finish. Um, probably use some irons, get, get the best finish possible, basically. I want my hair cut to look as good as I can make it look. 
and then when it's dry, I'll obviously be able to share with you the end result. <laughs> softened it out just to create more of this flow more movement to it so as you can see just a, a quick recap on what we've done we've gone for this square shape through the back okay the square layer and then we've transported that guy to the top we've gone short to long through the top and then we've over directed everything from the side into the center so you can see we've really hit every part exactly in the right way to achieve this look. Um, just gone back through the whole thing um, and softened it using point cutting, slicing, a little bit of feathering, you know, a little bit of your own personal um, feel to the hair, okay? Um, and if you haven't done anything like that yet, okay, obviously take that slowly and just maybe start with point cutting first, etc., and get um, and get the, uh, the feel for it. But I really hope you like the shape. Um, I think it's a nice take on a bob. I think it gives um, a little bit of a different feel to it. It's definitely a bit more modern. And um, it's definitely got a little bit more of a softer feel than maybe a graduated bob. But I hope you like it. Okay. Thank you for listening. Till next time. Take care. Bye.